What's up, everybody? My name is Matt B. Shot Town Ray, Shot Town Born. Let's get into it. The album is called Eden because it was something that was very special to me, especially with my faith in the Most High Yah. So it's like Eden is almost like God saying, like, you know, this is my little homie, this is my, this is my, my champ, and you know, I wanna, I wanna make sure he's covered, I wanna make sure he's taken care of, and it's like almost new beginnings. So it's the beginning of a new era, the beginning of a new Matt B, and ushering me into the U.S. market. So for the creation of the album, it was really crazy because initially I wasn't even really thinking about doing an album. It was something where, you know, you're just recording music, just recording as much music as you possibly can. And then from there, like the vibes just felt right. And something that Beacock said to me was, uh, man, after we recorded all the songs in L.A., man, we should do an album, man, we should do an album. And I was like, you want to know what? You know, it's been a little while since the last time I did an album, being the ones overseas, so it was something that I was really geeked and really excited about doing. As far as inspiration goes, you know, I get inspired by so many different things. I get inspired just from everyday life. I get inspired from my wifey. I get inspired from, from my little ones. I get inspired just from hearing other people's stories and the interactions that they have with other people. And, you know, it's more so about storytelling. Storytelling is just super, super important to me to be able to tell something that's worthwhile and that's what I feel like I did for this album Eden I feel like we went across all spectrums not just spectrums of um, the genre of music and touching on different facets of R&B but also spectrums as far as like the emotional spectrum what does it mean to like have fun and turn up and vibe what does it mean when you're heartbroken and and and, and you're looking for something more and I feel like we touched on all of that with this album for me, I feel like the creative process, it has to be natural, it has to be relaxed, it has to be something that just kind of flows. And that's kind of what we did with all the different producers. Shout out Tricky Stewart, shout out to the AP Factor, shout out Mark Bird and God Level, um, uh, shout out Brian Michael Cox. It was something where we just really just, we were creating. We weren't creating like, oh man, we need this type of record. We need that type of record. It was more so just like, you want to know what? I'm coming into the studio today. This is the vibe that I'm feeling right now. And we just tried to capture those moments. And I think that that is super important when producing music because you want it to feel organic. You want it to feel natural. And sometimes when you think too much, it just feels very rigid. So working with Tricky and working with Beacocks, I can't even really put that into words. These guys are legends um, in my genre and just in the music industry in general. Um, so to be able to sit down and know like, man, like my vocals are crazy enough that these guys are saying to me like, man, you're amazing, man. Like you're doing your thing. I, I love the way you approach this. I love the way you approach that. So it was really cool to just be able to to get those kudos from them and know that I am going about it the right way but then at the same time to have that learning experience because I know like as an artist I'm still developing I'm still growing so to have a legend sit there and tell me like man don't do it this way man do it that way or man I really like that vibe that you had but uh, you could add to it so it was more so about taking who I was and then building out from there and bringing it to the next level versus trying to fit me into a box, which I really appreciate it. Um, I would say that Beacox is very much so like, uh, he is very keen on pitch. He's very keen on vocal presence and like he will make you do a take 15 or 20 times over until you get it right. Tricky is um, a little more like he wants that feeling, he wants that that energy, he wants he wants to be able to feel the music to the point where you know he he might let you do certain things just because it felt right. And, and that was a really interesting dynamic. As far as working with B Cox and writing with him, that to me was like one of the ultimate experiences because for myself I consider myself to have a, a decent pin game but when I was writing with Beacox it was like man this guy's pin game is the next level and just to see his workflow and how he creates that's something that has stuck with me even to this day and I utilize those lessons in the new songs that I've been creating and especially in this album I utilize those lessons when I was creating other songs with other producers so it just really like a growing experience and a building experience as an artist I feel like this album helped me grow in several ways for one it brought my vocals to the next level and I think that if you're not growing as an artist if you're not growing vocally if you're not growing mentally like what are you doing because 
but like Beacox had told me and like so many other producers told me this is a journey over time it's not it's not a sprint so to bring my vocals to the next level was a huge thing for me I already felt like I had some really good vocals but now I feel like my vocals are just like crazy crazy <laughs> also uh, my writing definitely has been brought to the next level I feel like my writing is up there with some of the better writers out there um, just overall, the way I approach music, um, the way I digest it, the way that I can visualize it being more than just in the studio and bringing it onto a stage, I feel like all that kind of encompassed the creation of this album and how it brought me to the next level as an artist. So, you know, Chicago is Chicago, and I feel like the roots of where I come from is super important. And I feel like I brought that with this album. From the drums to um, the way that I was approaching things lyrically, I feel like all that kind of encompassed the album. Because, you know, Chicago, you know, you think of all the greats and the, all the different genres, whether it be blues or be jazz or or funk or, or hip hop. And it's like, no matter where you go in the city, you're going to get a piece of that. So for me, all of that is kind of infused into me as an artist. And I feel like in ways... I brought a lot of that out. So as far as impact, I feel like I want to create feel good music. I want people to be able to connect to my music in some way, shape or form. And I want people to feel something. I mean, I feel like art, um, there should always be a divide when you're thinking about art. Not everyone's gonna like it and not everyone's gonna hate it. But if it's a conversation starter and it's something that makes people think a little deeper and feel something a little more, then I feel like I went about it the right way. And as far as R&B, I feel like R&B in some ways has become stagnant. So I feel like with this album, I was pushing the boundaries of R&B just a little more, trying to give people just a, a bigger spectrum of what R&B is and what it could potentially be. So I know that I have had a lot of success overseas and you know, that means a lot to me. Shout out to all of my fans all around the world. But it's something about just coming home because home is where the heart is. So to be able to get more momentum here inside the United States meant a lot to me as an artist and it also meant a lot to my team. And I feel like as my fan base continues to grow here in the US, like the sky is the limit and, and this book is still being written. So I'm excited to see what the next chapters have to hold. What up, what up? This is your boy, Matt B. I hope that you enjoyed this breakdown of my album, Eden. This is my homecoming here in the U.S. And what better way to celebrate it than with this album, Eden. So check it out. Let me know what you think. And the rest is up to you.